We were all quite shocked by what happened on the 8th of August here in Hackney. It was really important that we allowed the community to talk about what they thought were the main reasons behind the riots. And a lot of young people felt harassed by the police. They didn't feel like the police acted professionally at all times, particularly around issues such as stop and search. The police, they see young people as, especially young black boys, being in gangs or being involved in some sort of, of criminality. So I was on the, on the bus going into Mare Street and I was actually the only person on the bus. I was marshalled off the bus by four police officers. They just told me that, you know, you fit a description of, of a young black male aged roughly between 15 to 25 wearing a hood. Stop and search is the best tool in a police officer's armoury of tackling crime but it's also our worst enemy if we get it wrong. And this app I think is a brilliant concept because it's actually come from the local youth and if we're going to empower the local youth with opportunities to engage with us we should also listen to them, listen to what their needs are and, and support good innovative ideas. We see the app as a really useful tool to gather data so that we can compare the police's data with data from young people. If we could have a, something that we could access straight away on our phones to know um, the procedures or the processes that the police may use, then I, I think that's something that could be quite useful. If they are arrested, it will then um, critically link to a legal firm. Because what often happens with young people, they don't know their rights, they don't understand what's happening to them, and they'll end up using the duty solicitor based at the police station. It will empower us we would be able to know exactly what to do and what to expect. I think it will help develop a, a better a relationship between the police and young people as well.